Hi and welcome to this chemistry lesson where I want to take a look at uh, naming binary covalent compounds. Okay, what am I talking about? That's a mouthful. Well, first of all, a binary compound is a compound with two with two elements. That's what the binary stands for. And these two elements are in a covalent bond. Now, one thing you have to know about covalent bonds, it is not metallic okay metallic bonds is something else so it will exclude all of the metals okay now if we exclude all of the metals that's everything here up to aluminium uh, all of these elements here so in the end we are only looking at elements that are in a covalent bond that means um, they are the elements um, let me show you that have a difference in their electronegativity that is less than 1.4 okay and if you were to go and see which ones these include that will be all these ones okay remember noble gases won't interact with anything so they will never form part of a of a compound okay but these are the elements that when they interact with one another they will produce for us a covalent bond okay so in order to go and write out the formula of two of these interacting we first uh, or to write out the name we first would need to get the form formula and in that formula which one will we write first okay is it just alphabetically is there some sort of convention so in the formula let's first look at the order at the order okay now the order is slightly um uh, slightly strange the first thing that we'll have to do is take hydrogen and take him off his high and mighty chair here far left and put him at the top of nitrogen okay so hydrogen is going to be placed here so that we can sort out the order and then it's fairly simple okay with one slight strange thing we'll start with boron and then the order will go down to silicon and then carbon then down again to arsenic phosphorus nitrogen hydrogen then down again to terillium selenium uh, sulfur and instead of going to oxygen that's important oxygen will almost come in dead last okay before getting to oxygen um, and 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 the reason why is because oxygen is almost in well is in most covalent bonds we find oxygen okay and then we'll go down here to to astatine okay from astatine go to iodine to bromine to chlorine and then from here we will first go to oxygen and then to fluorine okay so generally it's very simple except for uh, we'll, we'll just always read from the left to the right and if they in the same group we will go from the bottom to the top with the exception of um, oxygen oxygen will come in just before so oxygen will come in just before chlorine and fluorine the rest will all be in that um, in that order okay so if we look at a few common examples so for example if we had hydrogen and oxygen in a covalent bond then we would go okay first would come hydrogen would be first and of course oxygen the only time oxygen will come first is if oxygen were to interact with fluorine okay the rest of the time we would have oxygen in the end so hydrogen and oxygen will be in that order okay um, anything else uh, sulfur and oxygen in that order carbon and oxygen in that order fluorine and oxygen will come in that order let's look at the, uh, an, another bond, bond how about hydrogen will come before okay we get um what is called um, acids okay is when hydrogen interacts with an with uh with an ion actually but it is still a covalent bond so hydrogen and if we were to interact with any one of the halogens okay hydrogen and any one of the halogens for example hydrogen chloride okay but hydrogen will also always come come first how about nitrogen and hydrogen okay nitrogen will come first and then hydrogen okay and 
nitrogen and hydrogen will form a covalent ion actually uh, together called ammonia we'll look a little bit more at that a little bit later but that that is a covalent ion okay um oh, what else can we say um um Okay, in, if we look at the order, um, once we get to the name, we will, the, f the first one in the name will keep his name. Okay, although he will get a prefix. He, or he might get a prefix, he doesn't ha have to. The next one will get a prefix as well, the next part of the name, but he will change he will also get a suffix, a suffix I, D, E. Okay, so let's quickly look at hydrogen, for example. Hydrogen and oxygen together will be hydrogen, hydrogen. Okay, and I'll do the prefixes just now, um, but oxygen will change to oxide okay uh, so this will be sulfur oxide carbon oxide um, fluorine oxide look how I name the first one as I would uh, know its name um, but the next one will get an IDE okay hydrogen chloride IDE N um, nitrogen um, what is this? Uh, nitrogen hydride. Okay, um, so th we would first name the first one. The next one uh, will get an IDE after its its name. So this will be hydride, uh, boride, uh, silide, carbonide, um, asinide, phosphoride, uh, nitride. Um, Hydride, terylide, cerulide, um, what is it? Sulfide, um, oxide, astenide, iodide, bromide, chloride, and fluoride. Okay, so that's the names for for the second part. Okay, then when it comes to the prefixes, okay, the prefixes will tell me how many of each of the um, the elements do we find in that specific covalent bond. So let me show you an example. We looked at this quite quite regularly before. We, if we had an oxygen um, atom and he had two valence electrons and he shares one of the valence electrons with a hydrogen and hydrogen shares his valence electron like that, we notice that the two valence electrons Sorry, I lied. Oxygen doesn't have six, uh, two here, six. So he needs two extra electrons and he gets them from the two hydrogens that he shares. Okay, sorry about that. Now, um, in order to then write this formula, we would know that this is two hydrogens and one oxygen. Okay, so in, in order to show in the name that we have two hydrogens and one oxygen, we need to use a prefix to indicate the number. Okay, and what we are going to use is for one, it's mono, mono, for two, it's di, for three, it's tri. Okay, mono, di, and tri, those will probably then be the most, um, the most used ones. Okay, for four, it's tetra, for five it's penta, for six is hexa, and I do recommend that you that you know this off by heart because you are going to use it quite regularly throughout this year. For seven it's hepta, for eight is octa, For nine is nonna, and for ten is deca. We only got up to the. Okay, so for water, its technical name is two hydrogens, so it's dihydrogen monoxide. 
one oxygen. Now mono, um, and we, we won't write the two O's next to each other, monoxide, um, the mono we would usually leave out. So we don't, we, you don't have to write the mono when there's only one. It's similar to when we write a mathematical expression and there's a coefficient of one. You don't need to write it similar. You, you don't write it like that. Okay, so you could leave the mono and that would mean that there's only one. Okay, let's look at um, another example. We could have something like uh, CO2, okay, carbon and oxide. So we keep carbon, oxygen get, gets an oxide, okay, carbon with two oxygens would be carbon dioxide. Okay, let's look at carbon and bromide. Okay, so let's say we had carbon and bromide, or brom, bro, uh, bromine. So we would have carbon first, and then bromine, bromine. Okay, so we would have carbon first, and then bromide. Okay, and the specific one I'm thinking of is carbon bromide 4. So, f 4 bromides per molecule, 1 carbon. So, it would be monocarbon, which we don't need to write the mono, and then tetra, because for 4 we use tetra, uh, carbon tetra bromide. Excellent, that's as far as I want to go in this video. Uh, I don't think there's anything more uh, or anything really difficult about this. Um, it's simply in important to understand the order, where to place the H, and then when you come to uh, oxygen, you just skip down, oxygen comes second last, and then um, to know the prefixes that we would use indicating the number of each um, element in the compound. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the lesson and you learned something. I'll see you in the next one.